Hey everybody, welcome to the third chapter in game version differences. And uh, this video is actually a follow-up to the Stu's reviews I did on the Oregon Trail, where I showed this box and I uh, mentioned that I thought this was one of the first releases of the Oregon Trail for IBM PC. And uh, that the main difference between this and the first release was that this one has both a five and a quarter and a three and a half inch disc. And they say version 1.1. And uh, I, I believe that the first uh, release for IBM PC would had just a five and a quarter inch disc. Now, since then, I've actually picked up another couple copies of the Oregon Trail, and I wanted to share that with you guys because I learned some interesting stuff, or I think I did anyway. First of all, here's another copy of the Oregon Trail. This one, as you can see, only comes with five and a quarter inch disc, no three and a half. This one over here had both five and a quarter and three and a half. So I was expecting that originally this one would be the original version. This is the 1.0 version, I would think. When I opened it up, I found that it's actually also says 1.1, although you see that 1.1 is a sticker on top of the disc, whereas in this case, it's printed directly on the label. So I thought maybe, okay, this originally was must have been a 1.0 disc, and then they probably, you know, at some point issued this disc back out and it, it, they put a 1.1 sticker on it, so I was thinking still this this is probably still the earlier version, the one that has five and a quarter inch only, and again it came with only the five and a quarter inch disc. But when I was trying to look at this and investigate it, I was getting a little bit confused. So one of the things that I noticed here is that these boxes are basically contents aside, the boxes are basically exactly the same. Just if I turn them over, I'm trying to turn them over without closing them. They're basically exactly the same box on the back as well. The only real difference here is that um, this one says includes disc and instruction booklet. This one here says includes both th three and a half and five and a half inch discs and instruction booklet. So basically the same. If you notice though, the product number is HMS 306. And here it's also product number HMS 306. So that's the same product number. However, if you look at the, the top of the box, on the front, there's also a product number on the side, on the UPC code. And here it says, again, HMS 306, the same one that it said before on the back of each box. But on this one over here, the five and a quarter inch only, it says HMS 306-5, or it's five for five and a quarter. When I saw that, I started to think that perhaps I was wrong and that this five and a quarter only release actually came later because it was actually practice for companies to, to, to send out games with both three and a half and five and a quarter inch discs. And then sometimes they reissued them with only one or the other um, to save money. And, and I thought that maybe, I mean, that's usually they would do that with, with issuing just a three and a half inch disc. So those came later. They wouldn't usually just issue a three and a, a three and a five and a quarter inch disc, but I thought maybe in this case that's actually what happened, given the fact that there's the number of this is three hundred six dash five. I mean, why would they start with three hundred six and then or, you know why would they start with three hundred six dash five then then take another one with just three hundred six? If this was the later release, it doesn't really make any sense. So I, I started to think again maybe this one with both sides discs is actually earlier than this. Then I found something even more interesting, which I was really surprised to find. And that's this. This is also an IBM release. You can see on the top right, it says MS-DOS. And this is, I believe now, really the earliest release for, for IBM. Forget those other two. Um, you see it says the new Oregon Trail at the top. And there's nothing new about this compared to those other ones. I think this is the first one that actually came out. And, and there, there's a version of this case, which is a clamshell case. I've seen a version of this for the Apple, and I, and I knew that it existed for Apple, and I thought it only existed for Apple. I didn't realize there was also this MS-DOS edition. So my, what I believe is that they put out this new Oregon Trail for Apple as opposed to all the previous versions that were like mainframe and you know no graphics and things like that. And then after that, they ported it to the PC. Um, obviously, this is a PC edition. It says MS-DOS all over it, MS-DOS edition, MS-DOS edition. On the back, um, it also says um, your requirements are IBM PC, XT, AT, et cetera. But interestingly enough, and they're both, you know, both these boxes are similar. They have, you know, the picture of the prospector and, and the kid. But in this 
in this picture over here, they're using an Apple computer as opposed to this picture where they're using an IBM computer. And I, I think it's an IBM computer, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and I can only imagine that this box, again, was created for the Apple II, and they decided just to reuse the same box for the IBM PC or the same picture, just make a few changes on it for MS-DOS or whatever. But then when they reissued it into this version, they decide, hey, this is actually the MS-DOS version. Let's take a picture with an MS-DOS computer. Now, the only problem with that theory <laughs> is that obviously this is the same kid and this is the same guy and they're wearing even the same clothes. I mean, the kid didn't change his clothes. The guy didn't change his clothes. The kid looks the same age. They have all the same props, just they're moved around a little bit. Like the, the raccoon is on top of the computer over here or on top of the keyboard here is on top of the computer. So it really looks like they actually took these pictures at the same, on the same day or something like that. So I'm actually confused. I don't, I don't get what's going on here. Maybe they took this picture for the IBM version, but then they decided in the initial IBM release not to use it. And then only when they did the reissue, they said, hey, we actually had a special picture with an IBM computer. Why are we not using that? Let's use that. I, I don't know. It's very confusing to me, honestly, but I am pretty sure this is the first release. Um, because First of all, because clamshell cases were, were the norm in the early 80s. And they sort of gave away to regular boxes in turn of the late 80s. So it just makes sense a clamshell case would be first. Um, also, if you actually look at the product number, interestingly enough, where we said before, this one is product HMS306. This one is just product H306. And looking at old uh, catalogs, it looks like the Apple product number was product H106. And then when they made the DOS version, they made it 306. And I guess at some point they decided they wanted to make it more, uh, I guess, more confusing or, or more specific. And they called it HMS-306 for MS-DOS. But originally it looks like it was just 306. So that's another indication this one is, is earlier. Um, and there's probably some other ones here. Like this one, for example, uh, doesn't mention Tandy. Or sorry, this one does mention Tandy. This one, this one doesn't mention Tandy on the back. There's, there's a few different things here. This one mentions a PS2 computer. This one doesn't mention a PS2 computer. So bottom line is, I think this one is the, actually the original. I, I was very happy to find it, just to see what there is if you open it up. There's a manual, again, uh, product number H306. So even though some of these other ones have manuals, by the way, like they look pretty similar, since we're talking about di version differences here. This one here is a manual. I have to put these back together. Oops, it's pretty much exactly the same manual, except this one is product H306, and this was product HMS306, the later one. So you want to make sure, theoretically, if you care about this, that you're, <laughs> you keep the right manuals with the right software, and your, your, your package that's complete is not a jumbled package. But anyway, it came with this manual. It also came with this card saying, uh, please note, if you know, if here, here's, some, here's uh, some instructions about how to make sure you're using the game optimally from a technical perspective. And then it has a disc. And this one actually is version 1.0. I was thrown off a little bit by the 1988. I thought that the DOS version came out earlier, but I see that it, it didn't actually. The DOS version was not released until 1988, which is pretty late. I think the Apple version came out in 86, if I remember correctly. Um, and this thing on the front says 15 years of mech. Mech was created in 1973. DOS version 1988. That actually adds up. So I think my math was wrong maybe in the, in the, in the last video. But that's what's in here. Again, it's the disc, uh, which sort of fits nicely in here. There's this little car that fits nicely in here. And then there's this manual that fits nicely here. And looking at the other components again the other one so this is again the, the one with the both size discs and on product number HMS 306 and then that one also had a card in it where'd it go that one also had a card this card is a little bit different than the other card I'll take out the other card so you can see it again this one also has instructions of how to run it Please note, uh, to run this mech product, boot your, boot your DOS disk, insert the mech product as type A colon, type go. So that one has that where this one didn't. And the one that came in the five and a quarter only inch uh, release 
also has it looks basically exactly the same. And I this one doesn't have a manual, the five and a quarter inch only. And I thought maybe for a second that they got cheaper. They decided to leave out the manual, given the fact the card tells you how to run it anyway. But I don't think really that's so accurate. I think probably just this this copy is missing the manual for whatever reason. So again, I I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I do believe at this point that. The, the dual disc release probably came out before the five and a quarter inch only, really only because of the the serial numbers or the UPC codes being different between HMS 306 and HMS 306 5. But it's clear that this one here is the original release, this beautiful clamshell case. And, um, you know, again, that was more common in the early 80s to do clamshell releases. The boxes were, 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 were common later on. But it's just so cool. Um, I don't really understand uh, what's up with the picture <laughs> when, it, when it was filmed or, or whatnot, but regardless, I'm very happy to have this in my collection, and uh, hopefully the, uh, the, the cutting out of the video in the middle didn't make this too confusing, because I certainly got very confused. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. hope you found it interesting. hope you learned something. Please like, share, subscribe, etc. Tell your friends. Leave some comments, and have a great day, everybody.